Oh, my name is Jacqueline Namadi, CEO of Mianzi Tangulizi, which is a baby to Echo Green, the business wing. Echo Green was started six years ago. It's six years old currently. And our students who used to be on the internship at Kenya, Kenya Forest Service, and our patron, the late, late Mr. James Were, he brought in us an issue of bringing back to the society what you've been able to learn. And together we thought, what can we do bet, best, bet, better to our motherland? So we thought, okay, now that we're done schooling, the best we can do is actually return back to the community that has entrusted in us and has taken us to school. And looking at the forest cover in Busia, which was below 2% and has been below 2% for a long time, we thought that the government alone, uh, the Kenya Forest Service and possibly the county government, might not be having enough to work and to put on table to bring back a 10% forest cover by the year 2030. So all we did, we thought of a best way and a best approach to come in and help our county and also help our country achieve this. So we thought of one thing uh, that could be able to hit that target by 2030. We are looking at uh, our various trees and we are like, oh, using trees to get to this forest cover, it will really be a miracle because it might not be possible. The possibility of most of the trees growing up under this harsh climatic condition is something that is just not workable within that time frame. That is how we landed on bamboo, one as a grass, and just a fast growing grass. So we thought of if we are able to introduce bamboo in the county, and if you're able to introduce bamboo at an individual level whereby farmers, people will volunteer their lands and start planting bamboo, not only for conservation purposes, but also for economic purposes. Because one thing we are looking into, we, we thought of the scarcity of land. What we have in Busia, most of our hills are bare. And the condition, the climatic condition on our hills makes it impossible sometimes for you to even grow a tree. First of all, you'll have the termites eating the trees and then the wild animals. So the, the, the survival becomes almost like impossible. And as long as we are having the hills and the marshy lands bare, attaining that forest cover becomes something impossible. Uh, my name is uh, Subash Sonigra. I, uh, I am the manager at uh, Ecopol Industries Kenya Limited uh, in Limuru. Uh, uh, thank you, first of all, for uh, you coming on behalf of INBAR to, to see what uh, Ecopol is doing with a specific emphasis on uh, the bamboo. Uh, if you look at uh, our product, the, the Ecopole Composite Pole, 50% composition is actually the bamboo. Uh, when I say bamboo, uh, everybody is aware that uh, bamboo is a very strong uh, organic material and uh, that, uh, that is one of the reasons why we, we say that our pole is an eco-friendly pole. The, the eco pole was actually engineered and designed in Norway. And uh, the reason was that uh, the, the founder was actually doing uh, something at one of the refugee camps. And uh, he realized that uh, the concrete uh, was not easy when it comes to logistics, uh, transporting and all that. So he went back to Norway and uh, actually sat down with some of the engineers to, to find out which product can help. And that is the time 
it was realized that bamboo, uh, the fibers of the bamboo are actually very strong uh, to, to come up with uh, uh, an ecopole. So that is where the idea came up and then the other compositions came up. Currently, we, we use uh, the, the lowland varieties uh, of uh, the giant. Uh, we use uh, vulgaris and uh, the strictas. These are the three varieties which uh, we have tested and uh, helps us in, in achieving uh, our uh, eco-friendly product. Uh, my name is Franklin Keremi and I'm a landscape architect working at Kunkwe Design Initiative. Um, KDI has been uh, working in Kibera for the past 10 years, working in, with vulnerable communities to advance equity. We, we have um, different services, uh, design, community, uh, research and planning. And um, I work under design and build department where we partner with communities uh, living in informal settlement here in Kibera uh, to improve their derelict spaces around them and transform them into public spaces that have amenities that community need, but also helping with um, environmental remediation. In the period we have worked here, we've uh, utilized and applied the use of bamboo. Um, and the first very first project we applied uh, bamboo in uh, um, building the community hall, uh, so building the shade structure but also uh, the windows and doors of the building and this really helped with ventilation and lighting into the building. But we also planted uh, bamboo on the stream bank to help with stabilizing and uh, protecting the from uh, soil erosion. Uh, over the years we then also used uh, bamboo to build a, a playground for children and we had and then built a community uh, shade structure and the current build, the place that we are, which is Anu Academy, uh, for the windows, doors and ventilations.